Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the best 91 overall stocking stuffers to go ahead and get in Madden 24. Now, uh, a couple of questions. Number one, where's Zero Chill? It's delayed. I don't know when it's coming. I'll showcase that tweet from EA in just a moment here. But I want to get a video out today before, you know, it's too late in the day here. So I figured this would be a perfect video to do. I plan on doing it later today, but... I mean, Zero Chill is not out yet. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Kaysen for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn the case on. Comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, tonight we do have Thursday Night Football. It is a terrible, terrible game. But, hey, maybe terrible means good. Maybe a lot of the lowers will actually end up hitting. And if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100. And I have picks up right now for the game over on my Twitter. And also, if you guys sign up right now using code ZERK, you will get a .5 total yard special for Jalen Warren. Also, make sure you guys check out the link down below in the comment section, guys, for day seven of Zerkmas, where you guys can get on a $25 gift card over on Twitter and on here as well. All you guys need to do is comment down below Zerkmas and leave with a contact you up for Twitter or Instagram. Do not forget to leave with a contact you. If you don't, you won't win. Now, as you guys know, Zero Chill was supposed to come out at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time today, but EA tweeted out at 1.49 and said the Zero Chill program is now targeted to be released later today. Today. I don't know when that means the promo is going live. So later. Um, the fact that they didn't say soon or give us like a short time frame makes me assume that it's going to be much later. I don't know. Maybe this will be out uh, and then Zero Chill will drop like five minutes later. I have absolutely zero clue when the Zero Chill promo is dropping today. So I'll keep you guys posted. We want to get a video out this afternoon. So here we go. All right. So let's go over the stocking stuff for players. Now, a couple things I do want to mention here, guys. Number one, uh, these cards start at 82. And as you guys see, it says the notes can be upgraded to 91 by completing various challenges. So uh, what they said on the EA stream was that you can upgrade them with snowflakes so uh, again the promo is not out just yet but essentially i'm going to be ranking these stocking stuffers i do not believe that you can necessarily get them totally for free i could be wrong by saying that again i'm just going off what the ea stream said ea stream said anyways that you have to go ahead and upgrade them with snowflakes which i would imagine uh, of course is the alternate currency in the promo uh which i mean hey maybe you get enough to get with these guys for free we don't exactly know just yet but there are also going to be more of these coming with part two. We already do know that. And I also am not fully aware if you're able to get every single one of these cards. If you like get them all at 82s and then you choose which ones you upgrade. Or if there's like a pack, you get to choose one or multiple, whatever. We don't exactly know. But again, pretty much just ranking these guys. So whatever the case is, you know which ones, in my personal opinion anyways, are the best to go after to get to 91. So starting off, guys, in my opinion, the worst stocking stuffer to go after is Zach Wilson. Uh, you guys will also notice that they do have these baked in abilities uh, on all of them here. Zach Wilson gets inside Deadeye for 3 AP. Uh, but overall, yeah, just going for Zach Wilson. This card is okay. He's 88 speed, 91 throw power, 90 deep, 88 medium, uh, 92 short accuracy. It's not a crazy good QB. After that, Devon Godchild. This card's also not good. He has 78 speed, 72 excel, 89 block shed, 93 strength, uh, only a 78 finesse move and a 66 power move. I mean, this dude's literally going to do absolutely nothing out there. 311 pounds, and he has tip drill for 2 AP. So uh, this is just a big DT that is supposed to be able to stop the run, but doesn't even get inside stuff. It's just pointless. Next up, we have Greg Newsom, who is six feet tall. He does have 91 speed, 91 excel, uh, only 83 man coverage, 91 zone, 90 agility, 88 jumping, 89 play rec, and he does have deep end zone KO for two AP. Overall, this is a cornerback that, you know, with only 91 speed is kind of falling behind, especially with all the faster, much faster players coming out with 93 speed. Tyree Kill dropping the day, of course, have 95 speed. You do not want to see Greg Newsom uh, line him across with 95 speed Tyreek Hill. I promise you that. And only 83 man. The slightly better corner is CJ Henderson, who is six foot one. He has 91 speed, 92 excel. Also has 91 agility. He actually has over 90 man and zone. And then he does have 92 jumping, uh, 85 play rec, 86 press. Does have bench press. Don't really care for that. Uh, but CJ Henderson, slightly better corner. Still, in my opinion, I don't think I would necessarily go after him. But if you're someone that really, really needs a cornerback, 
here you go. After the cornerbacks, though, I'm actually going to put Byron Young on this list, and mostly because the speed, 89 speed, 90 XL. If you guys don't have a very good edge rusher right now, uh, this is definitely someone that can do some work for you. 92 block shed, 85 strength, 88 power move. Finesse moves really low, but definitely has the speed, and especially coming off the edge there, the number one thing that you want is speed. After that, I'm going to go with Michael Burton, guys, the fullback, and it's always good to have a good run blocking fullback. I know some of you guys may not really care about fullbacks maybe you don't use them at all personally i do kind of use my fullback not every single game but sometimes i like to have these fullback out there 89 speed though 89 run block 95 lead block 92 impact block as well with 93 strength this is a very very fast fullback right now that can run block as well uh really good at run blocking so if you like to use a blocking fullback I mean, Michael Burton, this might actually be some people's number one, to be honest. This is a very, very good option to pick. Uh, probably, to be honest, the guy that I will personally go with on my team. But after that, of course, we have some offensive linemen, and we have Bernhard Raymond, uh, who has 83 awareness, 91 pass block, does also have an 87 run block, and 93 strength. Now, currently, I don't know, like, what his speed or agility, whatever it is, but, you know, taking these offensive linemen as BNDs is never a bad idea, and he is 307 pounds, uh, has nasty streak as well for two ap it's a left tackle if you need one here you go the final guy is nick gates now uh, i will say this commanders fans and giants fans both made sure to tell me how bad this guy is actually uh in real life but in terms of this card in madden this is a solid bnd 91 overall center again another offensive lineman 318 pounds he's bigger than the left tackle and then he has 89 pass block and 91 run block with 90 strength and 90 awareness so overall a uh, pretty big center at 318 pounds and you you know gets post up for two ap right there you can throw on him i really think the top three are definitely the top three the tackle the fullback and the center but again these are just the release one stocking stuffers we do have more coming with part two uh, i'm not exactly sure how many of these you guys are able to choose uh, and then you know it says you can upgrade them by completing challenges but from the ea stream they said you needed snowflakes which i'm going to assume is the alternate currency and you guys may need to go ahead and you know get some of that either from the field pass maybe solos you'll probably be able to get at least one or maybe even multiple of these for free regardless but hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below i will keep you guys posted when zero chill drops you already know i'll have a video out covering everything the special offers the sets uh we'll take a look at tyree kill see exactly how expensive he's gonna be which to be honest i think on the low end with that card he is going to be maybe two to three million coins if he is like you know kind of coming out of packs a lot and if he is just absolutely not coming out of packs guys he might be five to six million coins but we have absolutely zero clue when this promo is going to be dropping so follow me over on twitter i'll keep you guys posted uh with anything that ea might tweet out and of course make sure you guys have the notification bell on i will post a video as soon as everything is live hopefully you guys enjoyed drop a like on it hit that sub button down below check out underdog fantasy use code zerk thursday night football tonight steelers or patriots you guys let me know are you rooting for mitch trubisky or uh bailey zappy what a matchup. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.